Right, my name's Alistair Smith, and, and uh, I've been here since 2000, and I've currently got my own junior exploration company looking for uh, precious and base metals. Okay, so you are starting your own company? Uh, it started already. Um, it's been going for about three years, but I was here previously uh, working as a general manager for Sub-Sahara Resources, and uh, we did the early development of the uh, Sunrich projects around Asmara now, and the Zara Gold project. Um, but uh, with the 2008 financial crisis, Sub-Sahara was a victim of that, and uh, so I then uh, moved on and formed my own company, and uh, I'm back here again exploring for uh, gold, copper, and zinc. Okay, so do you see huge mineral potentials that Eritrea possesses? Absolutely, and uh, you know, Eritrea sits within a very um, a mineral-rich group of rocks uh, called the Neoproterozoic, which, as geologists, we're well aware of, and uh, it's it's got uh, fantastic endowment historically, going back thousands of years in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's the same set of rocks that existed in Saudi Arabia, and there are references even in the Bible to one of the uh, the, uh, the gold mines there in, in Saudi Arabia. So. Uh, gold and copper and zinc have been known about for uh, millennia in, in this region. And there's all kinds of other factors that have impacted on, an, on uh, the countries in the region uh, being able to exploit that mineral wealth. It's starting to happen now, but it's taken a long time. So, uh, Mr. Alistair, you've attended both, uh, I mean, both the previous conferences, I should say. Uh, and have you seen any changes? Well... Out? Uh, yes, the, the change this year is, of course, uh, as your previous uh, guest alluded to, we're, we're quite stressed now as a global industry. And uh, so you have a lot less um, foreign guests this year than what we have had in previous years. But uh, as a, to compensate that, there's actually a lot more local um, representatives from other ministries, uh, as well as, of course, diplomatic corps, business, um, so the, what I've seen happen in the last few years, uh, you know, the previous three conferences, is uh, the first one was very exclusive to the mining industry. And now the uh, Ministry of Energy and Mines is, is really very keen to open it up to you know, uh, all sectors of society. So now we're seeing within Eritrea itself, the, um, the attendees are actually quite a broad spectrum of, of industry and politics. Yeah.